Hey up troops, A Littleton here again with another video and welcome to Theme Park where we're going to go through all four sites on how to set up and how to defend them. All reinforcements, all rotates, all lines of sight, all feet holes, head holes, etc, etc. We're going to go through everything. That's enough waffling, let's just get stuck into it. So let's get started with what I think is the strongest site to defend in all of ranked in Rainbow Six. I think this is the... The hardest side to attack and the easiest side to defend. So we've used seven reinforcements. We've got the two walls that go from back throne to maintenance. The two walls that go from back throne into barrels. The two walls that go from armory onto the bottom yellow stairs area. That's six. And then finally, the split hatch. This area here is called split, by the way. Because when you go in, you can go left or right. That's why it's called split. I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm sure everybody knows that, but we'll tell you anyway. Uh, split hatch. Now... When it comes to the lines and sights and rotates, on this site, there's really not that many. The site setup is super easy, but there's one thing that I see everybody make the mistake of, and I, I don't think you should do it, but everybody puts feet holes all the way along here. Now, feet holes is the right thing to do here, and I'll tell you why in a second, but not all the way along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what to do first, and then I'm going to show you what not to do. But please don't do what not to do. So first things first is feet holes like this. Let me just make sure I don't take too much of that away. That there is perfect. So why is this good and why is my gun, what I'm going to show you in a minute is bad. This is good because you can now stand back here, obviously providing this wall's not open and providing there's no vertical above you. Because this side, by the way, this side of the site is soft to here. This bit isn't soft. This is soft. But then this side over and throw, and all this is hard floor. None of this is soft floor. So you can one of the easy one of the reasons why it's one of the strongest sides is you can stand back here, and it's one of the strongest anchor points. If this wall's open, you go behind here. If that uh, sorry, if that wall's open, you'd go behind there. If this wall's open, you'd go behind here. It's a really strong anchor point. Um, this feet hole scenario. So you're here. You're now going to be able to see someone's ankles walk in, and obviously we see ankles. We shoot heads, right? If you open it all the way, and let me just show you what the attackers see from here as well. Okay, you get to here. The attackers were to go prone and peek it. The attackers have to really peek around, and all they see is the pillar, which is there. What I see people... This isn't what not to do. Please don't do this. What I see people do is make fit all, all the way across. Now, what benefit does that give you? Literally nothing when you're holding this angle. Because you're going to see their ankles here and shoot heads at this point anyway. So this whole area here is not necessary. All this does is gives the attackers a long prone angle from here right the way into back furnace all the way back there. And this is a strong anchor point as well. So right the way back here, there's no vertical here. You can play here and be safe. You obviously, you're safe in the vertical. You can hold this breach. You can hold split. You can hold the dragon walking if you were to go here, like where these feet holes would normally be. But if you make them all the way across, the attackers can go prone here. Oh, go prone here and just see back furnace there and you can't really do anything about it as a defender like this angle here like it's not like they have to go here and do it where they're a bit more exposed it's gonna literally be way back here don't do it don't go that far over just go halfway along that wall to about there that's perfectly fine if you go any longer it just detriments the guy who's probably going to be playing down by furnace there in terms of other lines aside some rotates you want to make a, a c4 hole just here and then a c4 hole just here Reason being is if this yellow wall gets opened, the main plant spot then is up on here, tucked in behind this pillar, or even just tucked here behind these boxes. If you make that C4 hole, it gives you the opportunity from here to be able to throw a C4 over to where that default plant spot's going to be and try and deny the plant from there. If they get the yellow wall open and they get into sight behind this pillar, it's almost impossible to stop the plant, depending on what they're holding, obviously. I did do a video on how to attack this site. And if you follow, if you go like A Littleton, how to attack theme park throne room, I'm sure it'll come up on YouTube. And it is, it is a methodical way of doing it, but everyone opens this wall and this wall, but there's a the much easier way of doing it is opening this wall because there's vertical above it. So you can clear out people who would be holding that area. You can't clear out this back area. So like I say, you open this wall and someone just sits behind there. Anyway, enough about how to attack. This is how we set it up defensively. Another thing you want to do is make holes above each wall to be able to impact trick impact tricking for those of you that don't know is where you have an impact grenade and somebody puts a thermite charge i say somebody thermite puts a thermite charge on the other side of this wall if you throw an impact grenade directly where my i was going to try and show you the c4 but it doesn't really work as well 
If you were to throw an impact grenade right there, the explosion splash damage would splash down onto the, the thermite charge and destroy the thermite charge. So when they put the thermite charge on, throw an impact at the top of the wall there and it'll destroy the thermite charge on the other side. Same goes for Habana, same goes for Ace. It, with Ace, you can be anti-impact uh, threat. You can throw it really far down. Obviously with Thermite, the lowest you can put it down is about there. So it gets Thermites almost every time, depending on, like if they put the Thermite there and you throw it up here, you're not going to get it. So you've just got to listen for the sound and then chuck it up. You're definitely going to have to play somebody off-site. You can't give all this area away for free. Somebody upstairs is generally the play because even if you're late coming back from a roam, like you get back to here, you can still be upstairs here, and because of the balcony, you can have a drastic effect on what happens on Dragon Door late into the round. A really nice angle that gets you a kill, honestly, almost every time, is a head hole here. And people run in from Gong there, and they never check this angle. So that door there is what leads to Gong here. This door. They never, ever check this angle. So at the start of the round, first 20, 30 seconds, Stand there, wait for the guy to rush in Gong, get a free kill. Um, what else is worth mentioning on, mentioning on this side? You definitely need at least one, maybe two people upstairs. You can't give away. like you. They could be here within 30 seconds if you don't have anyone upstairs, but you don't have anyone roaming, and you just can't give that away. The other thing to think about is the other side of the site, which goes towards drug. And sometimes I make feet holes just along the corner here. Just means from split. If anyone starts coming through drug, I wouldn't go prone because if you go prone, you prone. You if you go prone, you're prone to being headshot. Uh, if they see your feet, they know the heads are the same level. So you can like hold this type of angle here. So anyone that comes through drug, which is here, walks into lab. You know they're looking at this area, looking at barrels. By the time they get to here, you can have a angle. Uh, you can have an angle on them on for split door there. So obviously be careful, they can also do the same with you because they're further away from this angle as well. Um, but they're not usually expecting it. Well, that's thrown. And I think it's the strongest site in the game. There's a few banners you can shoot if you want to do a bit of aim warming up. Um, I think it's the strongest site in the game. I don't, did I mention that head hole is exactly the same for throwing C4 onto the default plan? Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Let's get on to the next one. On to bunk and daycare then, and this is the next best site in my opinion. I know a lot of people prefer initiation and office. Um, I don't mind that site. I think this one's slightly better, so my channel, my rules. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, right, let's look at the reinforcements. We've used eight, so we've got two here on the bunk wall that goes through to initiation. The left-hand side of the bunk wall that goes through to break room. We've then got the single waiting... The, well, one, I say single, it's a double wall, but we've reinforced one side of it. So the right-hand side of the waiting room through to office... We've then done the two daycare walls at the bottom of daycare that goes through to cafe. The left-hand side and right-hand side are left soft. I'll go through why shortly. And finally, we've got the two walls that go through into office that come out to top yellow stairs. They're both reinforced as well. So, in terms of lines of sights, uh, lines of sights and rotates, your first rotate is going to go at the back here. This is going to give you a rotate from break through to upper arcade. And this goes here because if you end up in break room here and someone goes on this rappel or this rappel, there's no way out other than this door. So being able to uh, get out that way is nice. Also gives you an angle towards waiting room from here. And if you get pushed from there, it, bear in mind, if they go on waiting room, they can also just hold this door. So if you're at this side of the door, you can come out, come around and fight on a different angle that you might need to do. If that rotates not there and you're just stuck in break here, the only way out is through this door and they can just hold from this double door here. So you always want to make this rotate. You've then got a rotate in sight. To be honest, it doesn't make a great deal of difference where you put the rotate in sight here. Um, the only thing you don't want to do is put it in line of that window. You don't want to leave it so someone can just come through the rotate here and get picked off from this window. You want to make it so you can come in and out without getting through that window. That's the only thing, really. Um, you can put it more to the left if you want to. We're then going to make feet holes on either side of this wall here. So, the cafe is probably the most popular place to push for this site. The two places you're going to mainly have to watch is cafe double and waiting double, which is over here. This is called waiting room because there's some benches in there. Uh, and it's also called waiting room on the map as well. I never really looked at that before. So, yeah, coming out of cafe here, reinforcing these two double doors stops the enemy. It's, it's double doors, what? These two double walls stops the attackers looking all the way through sight if they were to just have soft, if this was left soft. 
Now, the reason we make the two sidewalls um, soft is because if they were to open this or they were to open this, they don't really get an angle on anything. Like, oh, you can see that wall from there. Like, oh, you can see that door and that wall from there. Not really uh, like an angle you need to worry about as a defender. But it means when they come out of cafe and if they turn right, you can shoot them through the feet holes. And obviously, if they turn left, you can also shoot them through the feet holes. Now, to take advantage of those feet holes, you're generally going to have someone behind the bomb who's playing around this area. And as soon as they see him come out there, the cafe there again see ankle shoot heads and again see ankle shoot heads um so that just gives you a way of stopping if the, if the, all four walls of these um these four at the bottom of here are reinforced they can just walk out of cafe and go whichever direction they want free of charge without getting contested always want to open this hatch and then you can hold down into barrels window because that's usually a good rush point as well someone either comes bottom arcade on the window down there or will come around from barrels as well so you can just hold that from here also means later in the round if you need if you're getting pushed from like hit this angle here and you need to drop and c4 bear in mind only half of the um four is c4able c4able i don't know that's a word but you know what i mean where this uh four starts here these wood panels that's where it becomes c4able from and that is where throne room starts as well so this is the edge of barrel walls here i'll just show you remember we were talking about on that previous site when we were saying in throne there's no soft wall so this is the barrels wall here so as soon as you step over here we're now above throne as soon as you step above here, we're still above barrels. So if you need to drop and C4 barrels, you can. And don't forget, all of um, daycare is, is soft floor as well. So you can drop and C4 from there. Other lines of sites that you need to consider about or why we've reinforced this, actually. Let's get on to this next. If you don't reinforce this, I'm not really going to be able to show you what the, the effects are because I've already reinforced it. But they could be in this room here. You could open a line of sight there. And that there means they can cut off most of the... Uh, of, of, uh, bunks yeah i don't like that this is called bunks by the way this is i'm going off on a tangent here but why is this called bunks like there's no bunks here there's a mattress on the deck i mean nobody wants to be sleeping on that i can smell that mattress by looking at it but like, there's, there's no bunks i don't know why it's called bunks anyway moving on um so yeah if you were to do that if you leave that soft there's an angle that can be cut all the way through the site there from that from that reinforcement there don't get me wrong they could hard breach if they want to um, but you're just making things difficult for them by reinforcing it. And, it, you know, you've got the spare reinforcements anyway. Now, one reinforcement that I tend to like to do is on this soft wall, which goes from cafe, and this soft wall, which goes into vault as well. Now, a little um, trick here is you can actually... Oh, I don't know if you can anymore. I haven't done it for a little while. You used to be able to. Um, can you still vault on this? You used to be able to vault on the banister. I haven't done this for ages. I'm just going to have a little test whilst you talk amongst yourselves. Used to be able to vault on the banister, run down the banister, and then vault onto here. It was... I don't think you can anymore. They must have taken it away. Because you used to get a vault command quite easily at the top. It wasn't like... When you wanted to vault on there, it wasn't like difficult to do. It was... Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought we were going to get it then. If we run down... No, I think they must have taken it out because you... The vault commanders used to be there every time. Like, it wasn't... A, you know, sometimes you've got to find a pixel to be able to vault. Yeah, they must have taken it out. So, anyway, you can still reinforce these two walls. Just go around through into cafe and reinforce these. Why do we want to reinforce it? Because if you don't, they can make a soft breach here and then can hold this angle all the way down the corridor. And it's just a nice angle to be able to hold for the attackers. If they were to have a book from here, you know, and they can hold here or here or even cut around into sight there. And obviously, they can do the same from that side as well. So I would argue that they are good walls to reinforce. Other than that, you need to have somebody over on the other side of the uh, other side of the map. So you've got to have somebody around waiting room, probably starting in cash, uh, which is this room here. Start in cash and kill a couple of drones that come through um, the cash door. Maybe a drone that comes through dragon. Maybe the security hatch gets open and you can get a few drones that way. But really what you're doing is just wasting time here. You're not going to hang around this side of the map for very long couple of drones drop back to waiting maybe come then around here get a couple of drones that have come down from the security hatch which is over there and then fall back into sight now there is another option you can do here you can make a rotate here or make a rotate here and you can then extend into initiation you can maybe like castle this door off make a line of sight here reinforce this wall make a line of sight here so you can hold the hatch i have seen people extend into initiation i'm not a great fan of it i prefer reinforcing extending to here you're not well let me start again i prefer reinforcing playing a roam here killing a few drones getting a bit of intel getting a few in bit of intel off the board make them use like a couple of flashbangs make them use as a fear charge whatever they need to use to get you off this position and then just fall back obviously if you're falling back here watch out for office 
Watch out for cash door. And then fall back into size. I like this size. Oh, what? I nearly forgot my go-to trick here. Go-to trick. Make a hole in this wall. And then go prone and make an absolute ratty punch hole here. And you can hold the yellow stairs in relative safety. You can also, at the end of the round, when they've run out of ideas and they've run out of waiting room, which this always happens. Um, what attackers will do, will just bait this angle here and try and get kills from behind the bomb. And then eventually they know they've got to run out of here. And obviously it's a very dangerous place to be. You can get peeked from everywhere out here. But generally they'll get out here and like look here. And what's the first thing you notice about this angle? Is the massive hole in the wall, not the punch hole at the bottom. So um, yeah, that works really well for holding all this corridor. And that is bunk break room. Uh, not bunk break room. I've messed it up right at the very end. Bunk daycare, sorry. On to initiation and office then. And we're going to get started here in office. First of all, leave this uh, wall soft. We'll come on to why in a second. The two walls from office out into the top yellow area. The left-hand side office wall out into waiting. The left-hand side office wall out into cash. Go over to initiation. Oh, I have not reinforced this. Please excuse me. Just talk amongst yourselves for a second. I thought I'd done this. Apologies. The left-hand side wall from initiation out into security. And then the two walls from initiation out into bunks. Now, in terms of rotates and lines of sight, your main rotate is going to be here. This enables you to get out of office if you need to and attack onto the, the waiting door. If you can't have this rotate here, the only way out is through this door here, so they can just hold one angle. Again, we've talked about this before, making the, def making the attackers worry about where you're going to peek from. If they're both reinforced, you can only peek from here. They only have to worry about one angle. Give them multiple things to worry about. We've then got head holes here from office into cash. And this again is so you can peek from here. You can hold dragon from here. But it just means that the only, if you reinforce both of those, the only place you can peek from is here. And it just means they can hold one angle from there or one angle from out behind these boxes here. Having that there means that they could have got to worry about this as well. You might not peek from here. You might not peek from here ever. But at least give them something to worry about. Same thought process over here on the security wall. This one's probably more important, I'd say, because this is one of the, the most popular ways in. Through the hatch here, you've got the window here to worry about, and you've also got the door at the back to top dragon. But again, it means you can peek from here. I can peek from here. Which side am I going to peek? Who knows? Nobody knows. Gone back that way. You thought I was going that way. That's the whole point. If this is reinforced, it means you can only hold it from the door. All they need to do is roll one candela through here, and it completely flushes the area out. They can drop the hatch, and now they've got security. Whereas if you stood here, you can look away from the candela. And, you know you know what I mean. I'm not going to teach you how to defend. I mean, maybe we'll do a defend video one day. But in terms of setup, leave that side soft. Also, you've got to think about when you leave these head holes. Also think about what do the attackers get for it. So if the attacker was to be here and the, the, this head hole's there, like, what does he get for it? The attacker gets to look at that wall there. Like The attacker gets nothing from this being open. It's not like it extends way into sight. It's not like it looks all the way this way. Do you know what I mean? Look, it looks at a wall where, realistically, no one's going to be stood here. Like no one's just unless you're peeking and holding this, no one's going to be stood here anyway. So it's not like you're opening yourself up to get shot from a different place. You didn't think you were going to. You're also going to put another rotate here. Only a little one here, and this will just give you an ability to get into initiation. If they're at the back of the site here, holding behind the shrine or whatever this is called. Like holding this door from there or from there the only way in is through this door well not if you make this rotate you can come in through here and try and get an angle onto to where they're holding you from one thing to think about by the way and this is depending what elo you're in this is a really good trick for attack as well if you go to into if you put a thermite charge on this wall right up next to this wall here right up as close as you can to this solid wall when the thermite charge goes off, because it's right next to this reinforcement, it blows a hole in this reinforcement as well. So it comes across to about here, like it makes a decent sized hole. So what I tend to do is just destroy this wall. And don't give them an opportunity to put a thermite charge on there. They don't get anything for that. Like there's not a great deal of, of, of like things you've lost there by doing it. The only thing is they could go on this rappel and they could hold down the corridor there. Um, which they could do anyway just by shooting a hole in the wall. So it just, trust me, by opening that wall and stopping that thermite charge from getting this wall, it saves you a lot of pain because you can bandit or cade this wall. And if thermite comes to this side of the wall and puts his thermite charge on the wall here, it's still going to open regardless of if it's electrified. I've also reinforced the two walls here in Cafe. 
just like we did on the previous side. And for the exact same reason, you're going to need somebody holding this side of the map. You can't all be through waiting double. A bit like when we talked about holding uh, uh, bunks and daycare. You've got to have somebody this side of the map. Well, when you're holding over here, you've got to have somebody this side of the map. So we've done the same thing there. We've made the rotate. Uh, sorry, made the feet hole so we can hold someone coming out of cafe. And again, we're going to go back to the uh, back of breaker room here and make the same rotate again. And again, that's just so you can run out of there. Peek onto top arcade. Come back in. Peek into waiting if you need to. Come back around this side. Peek the corridor. You can even make the same rotate here and just basically make the same setup. It's a way of getting between the two rooms. But you've got to have somebody over this side. Again, like security is a popular way in from here again. Cafe is another popular way in. People fight their way into cafe. If nobody's holding this side of the map, they can walk from cafe. All they've got to worry about is this one door. Walk to here. Put a thermite charge on this wall. Put an ace charge on that wall. And they're already in. A couple of final things to show you. And one is this wall here that we talked about earlier that we're keeping soft. We're going to make a rotate here. Two reasons. One, you can now hold the stairs. Uh, have I got no ammo in the shotgun? Oh, no, I have. From here, you can now hold the stairs. Below the stairs. But, more importantly, you can also hold anyone coming out from cafe. Whereas normally, they're only worried about the waiting double door. From here. Well, now you can hold them from the other side as well. I've done a lot of running around here, I'm sorry. From here. Like I say, holding the stairs is really important, though. Just bear in mind that if they... Oh, oh yeah, I don't think I've mentioned... Did I not mention all the reinforcements? I don't think I did. You also reinforce this cafe wall, because if you're opening this, you don't want this to be soft, because you don't want them to just book this open and then just walk across here. If this gets open, you've got to be conscious that they could just walk across this gangway and then into vault and into side. So, but reinforcing it, they don't usually open it. Oh, if they do, you're going to get a big sound command anyway, so just hold on to it. And that there is pretty much it, apart from the final thing. In fact, two final things. One is a line of sight down here. And we make this so you can play in the back of cash, and this is where I normally play on this site. Play like Wamai with an ACOG or Malusi with an ACOG, and now you can hold waiting double. So now when they walk through waiting double, they've got all sorts of angles to worry about. Got to worry about the door, the rotate, the door, the rotate, the line of sight there into cash, the line of sight there into cash, long angle from dragon. Like, there's so many angles you can get shot from on that waiting double. Opening this line of sight just means there's one more for them to worry about. And the final thing, the final piece de la resistance is exactly what we did over in break room on the other side. Make a hole here. Make a punch hole here, and you can hold security door and top dragon. I don't know what it is about theme park. Punch holes work really well for me. Again, if you were an attacker and you just dropped security hatch and you had a look this way, what's the first thing that you see there is this big hole. We can barely even see the punch hole because of the nature of what the wall's made from, but you look at this first, not this. And by the time you look at this, you're already dead from this uh, punch hole that we've made. That is initiation and office. I do like this site. Um, you know, I said I like bunk daycare as well, but I do like this site. This one's fun. There's a lot of setup, though. Um, you, if you're playing this site, you've definitely got to make sure everyone knows what they're doing in terms of setup because there's like 10 reinforcements that we've used. We've made one, two, three, four, five rotates, I think. Lines of sight here, lines of sight here, lines of sight over there. Like There's, there's a, lot of, um, a lot of setup to be doing, so you need to make sure you're on with it all. Finally then, we're on to storage and lab, although lab and drug is what most people call it. Um, did this used to be called drug? I feel like this used to be called drug or drug storage, and now it's just called storage. So I've always called it drug. And I don't think you would have just called that for no reason. Anyway, um, rotates, we've used six. So we've got the two walls to barrels, and these are absolutely imperative. Um, so from the corridor outside the um, lab double through into uh, barrels, we've then got the right-hand side wall looking out again from lab into the corridor. The three walls on the left-hand side, leaving only the right-hand side soft on uh, lab out to the corridor. And that is... Wait, is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's right. Um, there's no reinforcements to do around, like, the toilet area. There's nothing to... No soft walls in here. And we don't reinforce this, and I'll tell you why in a second. And we don't reinforce this, and I'll tell you why in a second. L lines of sight and rotates. First one... It needs to be really tight to the wall to hold here um, a rotate between sights. It means you can peek onto the window from here. 
if you need to. Again, don't. Thing is, though, if you're playing this site, don't start peeking this window to begin with, because every every like 1.6 KD wannabe champion is going to be stood on this window, baiting kills, expecting you to peek. You don't need to peek, but it just means that you can hold that window from somewhere far back like this if they were to jump in, and also come back through if we need to. And again, it gives you another way of getting back into the site. So if you were in this room and they were holding this door, coming through this way would give you another way of getting back into the site for whatever reason. It just gives you more maneuverability. The attackers get nothing from it. They can't hold the angle from here because of the nature of what's outside here. They can't hold a tight angle. And they can't see anything through it. There's, the angle's too tight. We're then going to make the same feet holes we did for Throne, but they don't make them very, like... When I say don't make them high up, don't make them like waist holes. Make sure they are feet holes. So point, like, point your shotgun a bit closer to the floor than you normally would, probably. And this is the exact same thing we talked about with um, when holding the uh, when holding throne. Sorry, and play behind this bomb here, and anyone that pushes out is split from um, from throne room, or anyone that's pushing down the corridor here, you're gonna be able to shoot the feet as they come out. And also go around to here, and if this door, this wall gets open, hold drug, although sorry, hold barrels. Although from here, you don't want to be standing here. Really, it's a dangerous place to be. In terms of this wall, open this up there. You can now stand on here and hold the window. Also means if anyone jumps through the window, you can launch a C4 through there. I would also make feet holes just there as well. For anyone that walks through from bathroom, you can stand here and stop them. Also, the C4 goes obviously over the towards the bomb. Or if they were to walk through from bathroom, you're going to be able to deny the plant there as well. If they were to come through this way, they're not going to be looking at these feet holes here and you're going to be able to get an angle on them there. Bear in mind, you don't want to make too many feet holes because they can also hold it from the window here. Um, there is, uh, also you can impact trick this as well, this this wall sometimes tries to be open, but obviously because you can shotgun the top of it, this goes for any wall on the map where you can shotgun the top, it just means now you could impact the top of the ceiling here, and again it would destroy whatever hard breach is on that wall. I, if you, like the best anchor points around here is this sort of area here to hold into split, obviously there's no soft wall here, so you're safe around this area, you can hold there as well, and then the other one is just far back in uh, storage here. A good strat is to place a shield here. I mean, you are penned into a corner, but it means you're, like, you're really secure here. The soft wall for a cafe, by the way, above, doesn't start here. This is the cafe balcony. The soft wall for the cafe starts here. It's like you're safe to stand here. The only thing is, obviously, you're prone to grenades, because if you get grenaded from the window, you've sort of got only way to go is here, and you're going to get shot from the window, or here, and you're probably going to push from the window as well. So it's not... You can be flushed out, but it's a super secure place to play until they start throwing things at you. Bear in mind, somebody's probably going to launch themselves through this window here, so get some kind of proxy mine, goo mine, ally mine, whatever you want to do, a notification someone's come through that window. But also, here's a solid place to play as well late in the round. No one ever checks that corner as they push in. They're so worried about what's in this room. Bosh, another nice place to hide. I don't like this site, personally. This uh, We've talked about this before on other sites, but this sort of reminds me of one of those sites where if all five people know what they're doing, then it's great, but... In Pro League, when the theme was on the comp playlist, it's not anymore, but when it was, this was a very popular site. But again, ranked isn't comp, and what works in comp doesn't work in ranked. But this was a popular site then. It's a tough one to hold, I think, personally, because there's so many just easy ways in. Window there, window back there. You definitely got to have somebody above around this area to be able to, so this is cafe, like I said, be able to hold that. Um, and yeah, not, not my favorite site. I don't hate it. Um, I think, did I talk about this by the way, these walls, you've got to reinforce these because otherwise they just open these walls and all of a sudden they can just see through all the sides. Like, just look how, because it's a double door, it's so expansive. If you're ever, if someone does defend this site, just like go to this window, get yourself in barrels and open this with ace and then just go back and hold it and you'll get three kills. Just watch out for the hatch in case they're above. So that's lab and storage or lab and drug. Um, again, not my favorite site. I don't think it's horrendous, but I just think the other three are better than this. So there we have it. There's theme park. You see a lot of theme park bans, and I would never hold it against you if you ban theme park on attack. It's by far one of the most difficult maps to attack, especially in ranked, and I wouldn't blame you for banning it on attack. On defense, do not ban it. If you ban theme park on defense and you're in at least a coordinated two or three stack, even a five stack, you're absolutely trolling because it's one of the best sites, oh, sorry, one of the best maps to defend. Thank you very much for getting involved with all of these setup videos and all of these videos we've been doing recently. The channel, as I say, has seen steady growth since uh, SI, and I'm really, really grateful for everybody getting involved. That includes you, yes, you, 
on the other end of the video. I was going to say on the other end of the phone, unless you are watching on a phone. Although I imagine, do most people watch on a phone or on a PC? I don't know. Comment below if you're not sure what to comment. Thank you for uh, getting involved in terms of the engagement as well. Liking, commenting, subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps the channel. Just even a like and a comment will boost the channel, will boost the video and the algorithm. It'll really, really help me out. If you're struggling for what to say, um, I normally try and find something. Here you go, wallet. Um, watch out for the moths if I open it. It's not been open for a while. There's not much in there. Wallet, if you're struggling with a comment, get that in the comments below. Or put something else, say bald old man or whatever you want to say. Anyway, I am waffling now. Thank you very much for getting involved with the video and we'll see you next time. Cheers.